Uh, I want to thank you all for coming to the Great River Park, uh, a facility that uh, gets loved to death. It's a, a wonderful new facility in the city of St. Paul. We're very proud of. In a land of 10,000 plus lakes and lots of pools, uh, pool safety, water safety is incredibly important. Too many children across the country every year die or are seriously injured in an accident that occurs inside of a pool. Uh, we obviously have uh, examples right here in the state of Minnesota that are, are tragic uh, and uh, unspeakable in terms of the, uh, the sadness. Uh, we are very proud to be standing here to talk about pool safety and really talking about how we can take down some of the number of incidences that occur. Since Memorial Day, there have been 390 reported drowning or significant accidents uh, that have occurred in pools across the country. Uh, there were 188 drownings alone. Uh, obviously, we have uh, the, the sad, sad story uh, of Abby Taylor uh, that has, I think, uh, inspired many of us, and particularly Senator Klobuchar, to do better uh, by all of our children, to make sure that when they go into, the, in, into a pool, that they're protected, that they're safe, uh, that, uh, that we can reduce these accidents across the country and in the state of Minnesota. I want to thank Senator Klobuchar for her leadership on this. Uh, Inez Tenenbaum uh, uh, is with us here today with the U.S. Uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission. Uh, we have Abby's Hope that has really inspired some of the very significant uh, changes that are occurring here. And the World Water Park Association are all gathered here today. We have in the city of St. Paul, uh, as uh, former Mayor Coleman used to say, mayors have powers uh, to proclaim things. I don't know what that actually gets you. But we do have a proclamation that just talks about the importance of pool safety uh, and uh, across, uh, across the state of Minnesota and across the country. Whereas in the United States, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates that nearly 300 children younger than five uh, drown in swimming pools and spas each year. And more than 3,200 3, that age go to hospital emergency rooms to, due to non-fatal submersion, uh, submersion injuries. Whereas an unknown number of these hospitalizations result in permanent disability, including brain damage. Whereas these deaths and injuries are preventable. And whereas the CPSC is charged with implementing and enforcing the Virginia Graham Bar Baker Pool and Safe Spa Safety Act to reduce child drownings and near drownings and entrapments in swimming pools and spas. And whereas public participation in the campaign could help spread the campaign's message to parents and families and help prevent future tragedies. Whereas the City of St. Paul supports CPSC's Pool Safety Safely campaign. Now therefore, I, Christopher Coleman, proclaim September 27, 2010 to be Pool Safely Day in the City of St. Paul. I want to thank everyone that has made this uh, such an important issue that has taken action to reduce these significant and serious injuries and deaths, and I just appreciate that. And at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Inez Tenenbaum and present her with this proclamation. Inez? Thank you, thank you. so much, Mayor Coleman, thank you for so much for that warm introduction and for this beautiful proclamation. Mayor, it's an honor to be here in St. Paul, and I commend you for your leadership and advocacy for the safety of your residents and your visitors. I'm particularly pleased that you have focused on education as one of your top priorities as mayor. I'm so pleased to launch Pool Safely Day in St. Paul. This is a nationwide effort today with more than 30 events in 12 states in the District of Columbia. Our message from St. Paul to San Diego, from Minnesota to Montana, is a simple one. Swimming occurs all year long in water parks, hotels, motels, and warm weather states. Therefore, we need to protect children in and around the water all year long. Communities from coast to coast are making drowning and drain entrapment prevention a priority today. But the Consumer Product Safety Commission made this event the heart of the Pool Safely Day for two powerful reasons, to honor Abigail Taylor and to save the lives of children across Minnesota. Katie and Scott, your strength in the face of tragedy and the passion for keeping Abigail's spirit alive through the Abby's Hope Foundation is an inspiration to my agency. We thank you so much for being here and participating today, and we want you to know that the CPSC is a supporter of Abby's Hope. 
I want all parents to know that drowning is a leading, but it is a preventable cause of death for injury, uh, death and injury among children younger than five. And drain entrapment and evisceration is a hidden and horrific hazard that we're working hard to prevent. The statistics this, from this past summer are very upsetting. Since Memorial Day weekend, the media has reported nearly 400 child drownings and near tragedies nationwide. There are nearly 190 child drownings, 200 near tragedies, and one entrapment. Here in Minnesota, the media reported the drowning of a year-old girl. Drowning is a silent killer. It happens quickly and quietly, and it can strike anyone at any time. We have come to the Great River Water Park at the Oxford Community Center, an outstanding aquatic center, to do something about these tragic statistics. Our Pool Safe, Safely public campaign is all about using and sharing the simple steps that can save a child's life. CPSC, along with great partners like Abby's Hope and the World Water Park Association, are teaching families about pool and pool operators the simple steps that save lives in public and in backyard pools. Some of these life-saving steps include knowing CPR, always watching and being within reach of children in and around the water, teaching children how to swim, and installing drain covers that are safe. These are simple steps that apply to water parks, hotels, motels, indoor community pools, as well as backyard pools. Over the summer, the CPSC released a series of high-impact public service announcements. The PSAs are available for television and radio and print media in English and in Spanish. We really encourage all of you in the media to use these PSAs. The PSA shows the importance of installing a four-foot fence, having a working pool alarm, and securing the back door that leads to the pool. This campaign is especially important for the African-American and Hispanic communities. The USA Swimming and CP CDC have determined, determined that there is a disproportionate risk of drowning for African-American and Hispanic children. According to USA Swimming, in diverse co communities, the youth drowning rate is two or three times higher than the national average. Nearly six out of 10 African-American and Hispanic children are unable to swim, and which is uh, nearly twice as many as their Caucasian counterparts. The CPSC's Pool Safely and Minority Outreach campaigns are working to make a difference and reduce pool drownings in these communities. I'd like to close my remarks by recognizing that the passage of the Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Act is a key reason that we are all gathered here today. Parents should know that because of this child safety law, many public pools and spas across Minnesota have installed new and safer drains. This is another safety step, and this one is being required by federal law to keep children safe. I want to restate a message I sent to public pool and spa operators when I first arrived at the CPSC last summer. If your facility is not compliant with the Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Act, you should not open, and we will close you if you're not compliant. Install the right equipment and comply with the law so that you can stay open and help the kids in your community have a fun and safe place to go. Adding extra safety steps around the water can make all the difference. You can never know which safety measure will save a life, and it does.